Hey guys, it's Sean back with a new episode in our free to play series. Holy, this past two weeks have been really busy for me. I've started to get into new hobbies and interests and it's been difficult to find time to edit my maple videos or to focus on maple in general. So I'm sorry to you all who have been waiting for this video. In other news, I launched a Pokemon gaming channel with my thumbnail editor Scoople with the concept of playing co-op. It's been a lot of fun and I do recommend that if Pokemon was a childhood game and you enjoy my content, to go check that out. I've also been really interested into Pokemon cards as an investment recently, which is why I haven't been as active on Maple as before. Anyways, the fact that I'm like two months behind again kind of alarmed me, so I've been working on this video till late for the past few nights, so hopefully this kind of makes up for my inactiveness. I'll also try and go back into going to weekly uploads, but it might be a bit more difficult given my new interests and hobbies, and also because lockdown is ending soon in Australia, but I'll try my best. Anyways, let's get on with the episode. Okay, so as part of the terror burning event, um, I decided that I'm going to burn a mechanic. So a mechanic gives 20% buff duration at level 200, and is also one of the harder classes to train until level 200. So after 5th job, it's amazing, but until 5th job, the damage is a bit lackluster and it's just a bit difficult to train. So as you can see here, I have a lot of gear that I'm going to create now. Luckily, today is also the sunny Sunday um, of extra 2 stars until 10 stars and also 50% off spell trace event. So it's going to be relatively cheap. I reckon this is probably going to be one of the cheapest events for you to create these equips. Okay, so I finished making all these equips. So that took around 20 minutes uh, and I think around 100 mil or a bit less. I just realized towards the end um, that I didn't even have to make the Fafnir's in the first place because we're going to get 12 star Fafnir's as part of the Terra Burning Box. So these guys are like completely useless. So out of all these, um, if you notice, the only thing that I'm actually missing, other than like three other rings, is a cape. And with the cape, I was actually just going to buy a Tyrant Altar cape, so the P Tyrant Pirate cape from the Auction House, because it's only like 70 mil or something. So that's probably going to be the most cost efficient damage increase actually. Transferring some mesos over. Um, yes, the 80 mil. Very good. Um, so let's have a... Ooh! Wait a minute. This one's three stars and... Wait, wait, wait. Are there any... Well, I swear that one was an accident by that guy. Or like, he's just mispricing it to be extremely low. The four star is 250. Okay, we take this. What the heck? No one's bought this. Wow, I'm in luck. <laughs> so you remember all those boss accessories I've flamed to at least 60 stat? Like, all these? This guy isn't the only guy who's holding boss accessories as well. I have... Three other characters that have boss accessories, although this one is where most of the concentration of boss accessories are. Guess what? Well, like, what I thought about was, in the future, I'm probably going to need them anyways for mules, right? So today's Sunny Sunday is that all equips to 10 stars today are going to be getting two stars instead of a single star. So it's going to be the cheapest and the most time efficient to create these mule equips. Okay, first batch, here we go. And I'm done. Oh, how beautiful is this? All these stars. And it didn't even take that long. It only took 30 minutes, so it wasn't too bad at all. Hey, that's the last of it. It really didn't take too long. So this one only took like 10 minutes, I'd say, this batch. Not too bad. So let's go on another guy. All right, almost there. So I finished all these equips here. So I believe now I only have one more character that has boss accessories. So let's go on that. And all done, woo! So the whole thing only really took like an hour, so that's pretty good. So yeah, definitely these kind of events are ones to look out for. And even if I were to sell this, I could sell this in a few weeks or a few months. Oh, I could just hold it until the next terror burning event and people would want to buy all these 10 star equips. To be honest, a common question that people have asked me is what's the point of this series? Because I'm not like trading at all or doing anything substantial in their eyes. My response to that is that I don't think a series needs a purpose to be considered a series. Just playing the game and enjoying it the way I like is itself a journey, and so a series. A lot of people forget that I've already played this game for 10 years, so I'm not very enthusiastic about certain aspects of the game, such as grinding, because that's literally all I've done since then. For me at the moment, I'm just enjoying making mesos. There are phases where I want to increase my character's damage and there's also periods where I don't want to do anything at all. 
Honestly, anything comes and goes. I don't have a particular set goal, and I'm quite adamant about playing the game just to have fun. I'm not going to force myself to do things I don't want to, because games are meant to be enjoyable. What's the point of gaming if you don't enjoy it? And no, I've never considered this series specifically as a guide to newer players. Guides are content specifically made for the purpose of helping others, whereas my interpretation of this series is to just enjoy the game and if it helps newer players, that's awesome. But again, enjoyment is a main factor for this series and my overall content. I've made a few guides in the past specifically to help people and if you guys noticed, I stopped making them. It's not like that I hated making those, but it wasn't particularly fun relative to what else I could have done. Relativity and enjoyment really are huge motivators for me. If I have things going on in real life, then I should prioritize that over creating content, which is just a hobby. Wow, that was my first Meistering that I sold. Ooh, prices have actually gone up. Because um, just until yesterday, it was all stabilizing at like 900 mil. Yeah, as you can see, it was always 900 mil, but... I think it might have been the same person who bought out all the Meister rings. Oh my gosh, he sold immediately. <laughs> nice, that means I'm back on 6.7 bill, so I'm not down that much. So it looks like Meister rings are currently all of a sudden their 1 bill each. Uh, how much are Primal Essences? They're 730 mil, that's around 280 mil gap, and about 100 mil is ingredients, so there's around a 200 mil profit opportunity. Yeah, around there. What I'll do is I'm gonna just make another one and then I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> Easy. The Meister Ring sweatshop lives on. I was starting to like not do this because there was just so many Meister Rings in the market that it was impossible to sell it for a price that I really wanted to. Um, but if I manage to sell this, I might actually just keep doing this. I mean, Primal Essences are currently really expensive all of a sudden. So it's pretty insane that I'm able to make this much profit. So I'm making around 200, just like slightly under 200 mil profit per Meister Ring. So if I can sell like a few in a day, that's like already like half a bill already that I'm making. And on top of that, I'm also making some pocket change uh, returns from my uh, flames that I'm crafting as well. Wait, holy crap, it's sold already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's an easy 200 mil right there I just made. Ah, oh, too easy. So just getting my Meister Ring puts me to almost 7 bills. So that was around 150 mil of pure profit right there after tax. And yeah, I also sold the Eternal Flames. How exciting. So I'm on 7 point, almost 7.1 bill. Look at all these Junipers. Holy crap. Someone really dumped the market. And just based on historical prices, they've always ranged between 4 to 6 mil. So this opportunity is actually really 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 good so i'm actually buy a lot of these like as an investment because it's i'm pretty sure i'm like 80 90 percent sure it's going to go up within like one month like it's going to double almost double in a month so i'm going to buy heaps of these um so what i'll do is i'm going to buy like i'm going to buy a ridiculous amount how much how many can i buy i'll get two thousand <laughs> I really went all in there. <laughs> hmm. And imagine if prices drop. Oh, that's not going to be very good, is it? <laughs> nah, but it should be fine. This is a great investment, especially because these are used to craft EXP and wealth accumulation potions. Ah, uh, I love hindsight. This actually dropped all the way down to 1.7 mil in Berra, but of course, there was no way of predicting that to happen. There was just way too much supply for juniper berry seed oils with the market being flooded. Okay, so let's get back onto this. So I made this mech like a few days ago. So I'm going to be training for two hours today. And I think it's optimistic to think that I'm going to get to level 200 within two hours. I'll try and aim to get to like level 180, I'd say maybe. I changed my mind. And that's 200. Woo! Yes. Oh my gosh, so happy. Okay, so now that I grinded my mech to level 200, I have 2527 legion. So that means I can level it up, which is exciting. Okay, and now it's going to look like this. Wait, what? Oh, the grid doesn't change, but it's just I can add more uh, members. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Never mind, it's not as amazing as I thought. Oh my gosh, what I noticed is that in Berra, Sweetwater Pendants are like, selling for really high. And I think that's pretty profitable. So I might actually just go into the commercial shop and pick some of these up. 
I'm, you know, as you can tell, because of my recent expenditure on junipers, I'm really low on mesos. Really kind of want to make some mesos now so that in the next 5, 10, 15 event, I can still have enough mesos to star force my says equips to 17 stars. As you can see, I have 1.1k. Um, I'm just going to buy one of these just in the small chance that it won't actually sell. Selling out the commercy shop is something I've done surprisingly a lot of in this series. Probably made like 7 to 8 bill in total with this by now. The really good thing with commercy equips is that they're fully untradeable after being equipped. So people need one for every character they plan on getting that on, which means there's always a constant demand. Of course, just thinking about the terror burning event, how many new mains or even sub mains are being created just from that one event? I don't think there will ever be a consistent reduction in the demand for these equips. What the heck? Eternal Flames are 72 mil in bearer at the moment. That is cracked. Wait, how much are Forever Unrelenting Flames? They're 8.5 mil. So if you multiply this by 5, that's 42 mil. And if you can sell them for 70 mil each, okay, there's probably going to be other costs, right? So let's say it's going to cost another 5 mil, but that's going to be over 20 mil profit per flame. That is insane. Holy crap. I might just buy like 20 of these now and craft them and just sell them. Yeah, I'll just buy a couple. What the heck? This is so baked. I'll just buy seven for now. Try and sell them. And then if, you know, if it continues to sell, then I'll just make some more. Gotta love these fluctuations in the price. There's always going to be that one whale who needs like a thousand of these eternal flames. All right, there's still 71 mil. You know what that means, right? Trying to get some more of these. And with this, I'm making, I'm literally making 20 mil per flame. So this is pretty insane right now. Collecting some more mesos from Legendary Hero Potions and Eternal Flames. Of course, I still have a lot of Legendary Hero Potions lying around in my inventory, so I'm still trying to sell that off. This is my haul from 4 days worth of cube farming. How good. Let's just do a quick count of how many cubes this is. So this is 2, 4, 16, 17, 19, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, 39 Master Cubes and 2, 4... 8, 10, 12, 14, 17 or 18 Meisters. So, hmm, that's quite a lot. But more importantly, let's try and get some decent lines on the secondary weapon for my Corsair. <gasps> Yo, this is amazing. Uh, the reason why this is amazing is because I'm pretty sure in the future patch, um, well, sorry, I can't speak properly because I'm just so surprised. Okay, but the reason why I'm really happy is because I'm pretty sure they're getting rid of 20% boss damage in a future KMS patch. So what I'm going to be assuming is that that 20% gets changed to a 30%. If that's the case, I just landed something really damn good. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, we keep this. <laughs> oh... Gosh, just looking at this, this makes me so happy. <laughs> in that case, I'm shuffling my plans. I put the Meister Cubes back into the storage, and I'm probably going to try and get, uh, where is it, this one? 14% uh, or more int on this guy using the Master Cubes, and the Meister Cubes I'm going to use on my Corsair after this to try and get some decent lines on the emblem. So yeah, let's do this. So this is around 40 Master Cubes. Damn it. Okay, at least I can work on that in the future. But yeah, I'm gonna go back on the Corsair and we'll throw in the rest of the Meister Cubes. Wait, before I cube, let me just put this on and look at the boss damage. I have 156% boss damage, which isn't too bad, especially because I'm also lacking a bit in boss damage um, from not having the superior Golux set equipped on this guy. I think once I get that uh, on, I should be on about 185% and this guy doesn't even have the link skills I don't think. Oh no jokes, he does. Do I even have like D3 
Demon Slayer? No, I don't have a Demon Slayer. I can definitely work on getting more boss damage. So this is going to be amazing as a base. And also, my Legion is not even optimized for boss damage either. So this is basically completely without Legion. So 156% without the Demon Slayer Link skill, plus Legion, plus my Superior Gold set. Imagine once I get those done, what this will be like. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> But yeah, this is a guy that I want to work on now. So this is the last piece of my weapon secondary and emblem that I need to work on for the main pot because, you know, my weapon's more than fine for now. <laughs> I won't need to change this main potential for a while. This, I don't think I'll have to worry after that um, patch comes up for KMS. Um, that's a slime patch I was referring to, by the way. This big slime weekly boss patch. But this is the only issue, so let's just get something good here. Um, ideally, I do want a line of ignore defense as well as some lines of attack um, because I do lack a bit of PDL. I feel like that's going to be fixed once I get Legion and Link skills as well, but yeah, it'll be nice as well getting some ignore defense. One cube later. <sighs> Why couldn't I just have gotten this on my Kana? A few cubes later. <gasps> two lines of attack, two lines of attack. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Never mind. This is pretty damn good. <laughs> I have too much crit on this guy. <laughs> Look at it. I have 100% crit. I have too much crit. But I have that double line of attack, which is very good for now. Okay, awesome. So I've done my weapon, secondary, and emblem now. And I don't really have to worry about them other than the bonus potential. Um, bonus potential for this guy is fine. I do want 13% attack on this and 12% attack on that. Once I get it to legendary, of course. But, hmm, what am I going to use the rest of my cubes on? I know. Um, this guy, I kind of want to recube for Meza Obtain because I have a Raccoon Moss now that has 15% drop. So, I want 20% Meza Obtain here. Come on, Mez obtained, please. Okay, so, yeah, 20% Mez obtained. Um, I could recube this for. I mean, I could recube all of these for like 9% dex plus Mez obtained. I won't do that for now. I'll do that later on. That's okay. I don't have to worry about that for now. Such a bummer that I heard that the 20% boss damage lines are going to stay. I assume that they would have bumped it to 30% rip. I think I'm still good to keep this for a while, probably only going to throw black cubes on it for something better. Awesome, I sold all the stuff that I listed yesterday. So Sweetwater Pendant of course, the Reinforced um, Pendant was the one that I picked up for 150 mil and I noticed yesterday that they were going for 300 mil or more because there was none in the market. So like, as you can tell it's just all like 300, 200 to 300. So I managed to sell mine at the peak of 300 mil which is really good, making 150 mil profit. And the two Eternal Flames, you know, like I explained yesterday, I think the market was starting to like uh, quiet down a bit because it was 71 mil for a bit, but it went back down to like 50, like mid 50s. <laughs> so I didn't actually make that much profit off it. Um, speaking of which, let's check how much it is now. Okay, it's still 59 mil. That's still pretty good. And it's eight mil for the ingredient. That's still quite good, actually. Um, I could still definitely like make use of this and I'm probably making around 15 mil profit instead of, yeah, around 15 mil profit. So if I do this eight times, that's going to be about 15 times eight, which is um, 120 mil profit. So it's still quite profitable actually. So I might actually keep going with this. But yeah, now I'm on 2.3 bill, which, you know, is going up already. <laughs> After spending that 6.5 bill on Junipers, it's good to see that I'm making some pocket changes with this. I think I made about 1.5 to 2 bill of accessory crafting over a few weeks, so definitely a good way to make mesos. But I've just constantly been making profit, like, I've sold like, 3 of them already this morning, just after I woke up, and for 61 mil. Okay, okay, they went back up to 70 mil. <laughs> Ooh! Might just buy some more of these. I'll buy 200. You're still going to see a lot of these clips where I sell Eternal Flames in this episode. Since the resale from Eternal Flames are so high, I just decided I'm just going to get an infinite revitalizer from the event shop and make some more because as you can see, I'm completely fatigued out. 
I think currently you can still see this kind of volatility on Eternal Flames. I think the average price right now is 60 mil, but I always see them swing between 55 to 75 mil. It's crazy how much it can swing. Like I said before, there will always be that one whale who needs like a thousand Eternal Flames, and since people can only craft one at a time, it's impossible to actually just monopolize this market. You're limited by time and fatigue. I think we need a lot more of this kind of feature in the game. It's a lot more fair to everyone who wants to participate in the market. Holy crap, what's happening to the Eternal Flame market in Barrel? Wow, it's reached a peak of 82 mil. If you just look at the path record, it's been selling. So I sold all of these guys at 65, which was here. But more recently, it's gone even higher. So someone's clearly going crazy in Barrel, trying to get as many Eternal Flames as I can. Hmm. But regardless, I think because of this, I might just do the same as yesterday and I'll get that fatigue potion from the event shop and use it to restore some fatigue and then craft some more of these because these are clearly really, really damn profitable at the current moment. So I don't know what's up with this, but yeah, let's keep going. One regret that I have back then is that I didn't mass buy the Forever Unrelenting Flames. I only bought it in batches of like 20. Of course, with this kind of profit margin, most people in the market aren't stupid. They'll realize there's this kind of profit and jump on it until the profit is low again. Forever Unrelenting Flames from this clip was about 8 to 9 mil, but it went all the way up to 12 mil after that. Alright, guess prices aren't going down. <laughs> this is beautiful. Someone really desperately wants Eternal Flames in Vera. So overnight, it sold up to 78 mil, which is pretty insane. That was the reason why I was able to sell mine for 75 mil. Um, so you know what that means. Keep going with this. Oh my gosh, I've gone up. I mean, that's expected, right? The profit margin was just too big. Everyone was taking advantage of that, probably. Like I was saying earlier, I actually stopped since then because the profit margin was only going to be like 5 to 10 mil, which isn't really worth my time. Woohoo! Oh yes, someone bought my Absab Summoner. So that's going to give me a bit of mesos to work with in the next 5, 10, 15 event. So now I'm on 6.5 bill. Oh, bouncing back with mesos. <laughs> I've made back all the mezzos that I've used in this same episode. How crazy is that? Of course, with the junipers, the true value of my inventory is now over 10 bill, but I guess people only really like seeing the actual mezzo amount in the inventory. So we'll just say I'm on 6.5 bill. Today is 50% off on an EXP weekend. So as you can see, instead of resetting for 10k, it's only 5k. Um, this is on my Corsair. And currently my inner ability looks like this, 18% item drop and 10% mezzo obtained. Just talking about this really quickly, I want to get this guy to 20%. There's no question about that. I will get this guy to 20%. So I'm probably going to try and re-roll to get 20% on this. This guy is pretty decent, but I think this implies that my mezzo obtained line, this one, is an epic tier line, not a unique tier one. So unique tier would be 11% to 15%, whereas this is only ranging between 5 to 10%. So I will also re-roll this guy. Um, third one will probably be attack that I'm looking for, any sort of attack line. So I have 2.7 mil, and what I've decided was, you know, it's a bit heartless trying to just roll 20% item drop with just resetting this, right? So what I thought was, what if I go to the event shop and pick up some of these chaos circulators, and this will ensure that I have a chance of maybe getting that 20% item drop line, and that means I can save quite a lot of rolls. So yeah, um, let's just try one at a time. So Chaos Circulators reset the, the numbers of these, but not the actual lines itself. So let's just see what we can get. If I can get 20% item drop. Okay, my item drop didn't change, my Mezzo Obtained dropped. Number two. Oh, yes. You 20% item drop. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, because this guy I was going to reset anyways, um, because the cap is only on 10% and I want to get 15% on this. So that means I'm just going to roll for this. So I want 15% Mezzo obtained. Ooh, 18 attack. Hmm. 18 attack is a unique line, but uh, there's choices between 15, 18 and 21. So 18 is like the middle one. Uh, nah, I want to go for the max anyways. Ooh, oh, that was my first unique Mezzo Obtain line that I've seen. Oh, 13% isn't good enough though. Oh. 
But I don't want to use Chaos Circulators because it's going to potentially screw up my first line. So that's a risk here. And the chances of getting the Chaos Circulator to fix the 20% and 15% is... I don't know. I feel like that's so hard. Yeah, the thing with... Oh, the 13% Mez Obtained. So with Mez Obtained, at Unique, you can either get 13, 14, or 15% Mez Obtained. Like, 13% oh, is decent, but like... I just want 15% as obtained so that I don't have to worry about this ever again. Ah, oh, this breaks my heart, but whatever. I want 15%. 15% or nothing. Because I'm looking for like a long term kind of inability, not a short term one. Ah, oh, I have no more on EXP. Ah, oh, that's a bit sad. Wait, let me just get a bit more. <laughs> Should I just chance it? Yeah, let's chance it. Let's see how many we can get here. I'll just get. Three. All right, give me a decent amount. I only got two. I got two. Oh, I got scammed. <laughs> All right, so 60k. So I have um, around 12 more attempts. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, I'm going to keep this for now. Damn it. Oh, 2.7 million on EXP. Not enough to get 15% Mez obtained as my secondary line. Damn. But it's all right. 9% Mez obtained, we'll take that for now. Sort of random boss accessory here. Alright, so I have a lot of cubes again. So let's do some cubing session. Jokes, you thought this was the only cubes I had? Haha, <laughs> jokes on you. <laughs> These are how many cubes I have. <laughs> Ever since I reverted the boss cube drop uh, nerf, I've been getting around an average of 7, 6, 7 per character per day. And since I do this twice per day, I get around 15 cubes a day. So I get a crazy amount of cubes. So this is insane, and it's going to be great for actually trying to progress. But first, I only want to use the master cubes first. And what I'll be using it on is this guy, and trying to get more than 14% int. That'll be great. And then that'll be the last piece on my Kana that I need a cube, I think. Uh, still nothing. <laughs> I've been thinking about what I should use for these Mice Cures, but last time I did my weapon, secondary, and emblem. My weapon and emblem both had two lines of attack, and my emblem was pretty good. It had two lines of boss, although one was 20%, and one line of attack. So, I don't really want to go for three lines, because I feel like it's more important that I look for um, legendary on these equips here but the issue is there hasn't been a 5 10 15 event in like two months so i still have to wait to transfer hammer these before i actually look to tear them up because they're going to reset back to epic anyways but luckily i did have this and this that were at unique which means i can try and get these guys to legendary yeah honestly like just looking at these potentials i really don't think i should cube over them for now there's better things I could cube right now rather than getting an extra like 7% attack with like a thousand more Meister cubes. <laughs> so let's try and get the superior one up first. Oh my. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um, This guy to legendary. Okay, it's okay if I don't get this guy to legendary now. I'm already very happy. Oh, actually, rather than try and get this guy to legendary, maybe I should just look for 21% dex here for this guy. Yeah, that's what I'll do. 21% dex. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. Um, Yeah, the reason why I was going for decks instead of trying to tear this guy up is because Meister cubes are the worst uh, cubes for tearing up out of like red cubes and black cubes so it makes more sense using the Meister cubes on already legendary equips to try and go for decent lines because you're just getting free rolls so yeah um next time i'll just try and get 21 percent 
dex on this and then once I do I will try and tear this guy up but this was insane holy crap only four cubes and this went up to legendary wow hey <laughs> hey <laughs> I abuse superior golox belts that were going for 700 mil um, I bought this like two weeks ago for 150 mil and yeah I managed to sell these for 700 mil each <laughs> this is a easy money merging strategy so I'm on almost 8 bill now my rings are 1.3 bill and luckily there was just a primal essence that was listed for 740 mil <laughs> despite the market price being around 1 bill so I'm going to pick this guy up and I'm going to craft a Meister ring to create and then sell it back to the auction house straight away so yeah I have this and hopefully I can sell this slightly cheaper than the current market price I want to try and sell this as soon as I can before the primal essence uh, price recovers and you know for example if primal essence goes back to like 500 mil that means all the Meister rings are also going to be pulled down in price so I think this current is spread right now where I just bought a primal essence for 700 mil and selling it for 1.2 bill that's a 500 mil spread right and that's around a 400 mil profit point and I don't think it's going to be that much of a gap um, in the future so I'm going to try and sell this right now and undercut everyone else of course again you have to think about why you're undercutting if you want to undercut whoops <laughs> selling another boss accessory again and 7.2 bill all oh, right I sold it I ended up putting it for a bit low because people kept undercutting um, as you can see the current position in the bearer market is that my rings oh okay um, there are a few that were listed for 1.05 bill, so 1 bill and 50 mil. And I was explaining earlier that I really wanted to sell it as soon as I can before the Primal Essence market recovered. So if you just look at the Primal Essence market, it's still 950 mil. So um, normally, you know, this wouldn't be a profit at all, right? If I'm only making, what, 80 mil off that? But I believe right now that the Primal Essence market is extremely inflated. So the true value of Primal Essence, in my opinion, should only be around 800 mil. But the fact that they're up 950 mil means that relative to what I'm thinking, the market is putting these at a premium. So long story short, I just really want to get rid of this as soon as I can uh, because I don't feel that the Primal Essence is really worth at 950 mil at the current moment. So that's the reason why I was so urgent to sell this as soon as I can. Okay, August the 24th. I believe today is the last day to claim the Yeti rewards and buy out the Neo shop. So right now I'm on my Burning Ward Kana and I've coin capped for the past like month or so. So I'm sitting around 15,900 Neo stones. So now I'm just going to buy out all the stuff I can from the Neo shop. And then when the world leap happens, hopefully I can transfer all of these nice goodies like uh, the Karma Meister cubes to my Bearer account and then use them all on my Corsair. So that was a plan with this guy from the start. And I even put a notice on my YouTube channel like a month ago to tell people about this strategy. So hopefully you read that. And if not, it's okay. I'm sure there'll be more opportunities in the future like this where you can transfer these equips to the regular servers. First things first, uh, I'll just claim all the Yeti rewards. I don't even know what the hell they are. Okay, I'll just take them all. It's okay. They're free anyways. Okay, 10 event cube meisters, that's nice. Okay, I also need to clean my inventory. And finally, the level 14 one, which is the Yeti mic. Oh, oh my gosh, are you serious? If you guys aren't aware, the blue Yeti mic is a very, very popular USB mic that people use. And I think they're just like memeing that with the Yeti mic here. <laughs> But first, I'm going to clean my inventory and then I'll start buying the other equips from the Neo shop. Okay, I had a list of what I wanted to buy from the event shop, actually. I want to buy all these Karma Meister cubes. Next, I'm going to buy like 10 of these just for my Kana. Um, because this guy's probably going to be a storage character once I transfer it to the regular server. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the equip tab and the use tab. I'm going to prioritize use and then equip and then etc and then set up because generally that's going to be the priority of the equips that you're going to want to store okay so this is what i have so far uh i might as well just finish this right uh what how many is that one two three four five six yeah that's six which is 300 nero stones that's all right i'll just max it out 
Excellent. So this Kana has two functions once I transfer it to Bera. It's going to be a event coin kappa, and also it's going to be another character I can store a lot of equips in and items in. So it's going to be a very good storage mule. Anyways, going to the next thing I want to pick up. I was going to pick up these Karma Master Keys because these are account tradable. Um, the next I want to get, I have 9k. Uh, I want to get all of the Karma Eternal Flames as well. I have 5,000. Um, next is, I might buy the rest of these bonus of cold cubes. And with this, I'll be able to a cold cube my Corsair's equips. Is transferable within the account, which is excellent. The next is a bit hard to decide. I can either get these pure clean slates 100%, although I don't really have much use for it at the moment, or I can get these 100% hammers for my mule equips. I think I actually prefer these hammers, not gonna lie. Just because I don't have much to clean slate. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll just wait until tomorrow, because tomorrow the patch note's gonna come out for the new event. And I can see whether there's going to be a spell trace fever time coming within a 10 day interval of this event. And if so, then I have something to use this clean slate on. So in that case, I'll pick this up. But if not, I'll probably pick these golden hammers up. I guess tomorrow is going to be the final part of this plan. But this is what my inventory looks like so far. How exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to transfer this guy over. And of course, pick up a few free levels from the Neo Growth Potion. Um, this is transferable across the world. Oh wait, I thought it was fully untradeable. Oh no, it's transferable across the characters. Okay, I'm probably also going to sit on this and just give this guy to a character in Bera as well. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on my Kana, so redeem all these Yeti rewards. I've already redeemed a few of them, but I think I had a few leftovers. But I probably won't use these until I world leap my other character over, and then I can use them all together. Very good. I got all the rewards just then. Okay, there's a few that I wanted to use. Um, I'll chuck this guy on my Dominator Pendant here. And get absolutely nothing. And the Eternal Flame. And also get absolutely nothing. <laughs> I just realized I'm going to have a lot of B-Pot to do after I World Leap that character over. So I'm going to buy heaps of these bonus potential scrolls. <sighs> I just crashed, but whatever. Um... But what, as I was saying, um, I'm going to pick up these bonus potential scrolls because they're really cheap right now in the auction house. So I could either spend 300 Nero stones for 100% bonus potential scrolls or I can pick them up for 11 mil each for 50% chance. And I think it's actually much more value to buy these with mezzos and um, buy the other stuff from the Nero shop, the more useful things. I bought some VIP necklaces because you can get 17 star on these, so I can get that drop pendant to 17 stars. VIP pendants are usually quite expensive, so it's quite cheap here. And of course, I sold another boss accessory. Alright, so this morning, the Goo Island patch has just dropped, and with that, the 51015 event was announced, which is great because finally I can actually get my Corsair's equips to 17 stars in a few weeks. Whew. Anyways, to kickstart the patch, what I've noticed is I think the market has responded to the 51015 event uh, with people suddenly buying a lot of these reinforced color rings. So as you can see, they're worth 990 mil right now. And on the flip side, superior color rings are 900 mil. So what that means is this guy is right now an insane value to buy from the Golos shop and just sell because like this is worth 450 Golux coins, and the superior Golux ring is worth 700. Any idiot can tell that the superior Golux ring should be a lot more expensive in theory, right? But the market is not showing that. So again, I'm going to be buying another reinforced Golux ring from the Golux shop, and then selling it to the auction house for that insane profit. Okay, so talk to Lucia. Yeah, as you can see, this is 450, this is 700. So yeah, let's just buy one of these and sell. And just flicking through the auction house prices, it was sold at a peak of 1.07 bill yesterday. Um, I highly doubt that that person will actually return. And also, there's reinforced gold rings in the market right now because people have just realized how good the value of these are. So I'm going to be just listing it for like slightly lower than this because I just want to sell it as soon as I can. I feel like other people will figure out the value that these reinforced gold rings will have and they will rush to list it up soon. So I want to be the first to sell mine before the market actually reacts like that. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm undercutting in this case is because I want to sell it as soon as I can and get out. Wait a minute. I messed up. Bruh. We, what? 
And we'll just put straight into this map. <laughs> Wait, I can't access the event shop anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it, I was gonna get the clean slate scrolls from the event shop before I transferred this guy over, but I can't now. No. <laughs> I actually messed up really bad. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's a couple of clean site scrolls that I can't redeem anymore, and ah, uh, whatever. Okay, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this guy to Coin Kappa. Yep. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, transfer him to Bera, or her rather. Okay, so she is gone, and yes, and this guy, the blaster. The blaster that was really tedious to train. I can also transfer him across as well. Damn it, I actually messed up though. <sighs> so annoyed. <laughs> That's like 2,000 um, coins that I could have just transferred over as well. Ah, re. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. 50 seconds. Okay, that's my mistake. I'll be back in 50 seconds. Alright, it's been 50 seconds. So, transfer this guy. So, yep, I have absolutely nothing left in Burning World now. Check. And now go back to Bera. Okay, so logging onto my Kana for the first time. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, these leftover stupid Neo Stones. <laughs> they make me so sad. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. And I mean, I can buy like practically everything from this shop now. <laughs> I guess I don't really have to worry about cost. And what I'll do is I'll just buy 10 of these Karma Eternal Flames. And now I've got to transfer all of this <laughs> to my Corsair and we'll have some fun with these. Okay, so first thing is I should make some space in my uh, inventory. So I'll just throw all these Master Cubes on this guy and hopefully I'll get uh, at least 14% int. Got absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, the market recovered already. <laughs> it's already going back down. Um, in that case, I'm probably just going to leave mine up for 990 mil. The reason is, with 5, 10, 15 event in three weeks, there's going to be people wanting to buy a lot of these reinforced gold rings, especially because this was the first one in two months. So I'm expecting the market to actually reach a point where this will actually sell at like one bill anyways so yeah i'll probably just leave it at 990 mil okay so hmm what i've been thinking is what the hell am i going to use these common master cubes on i have quite a few options option one i can equip this guy to my corsair and then unequip it so it'll be untradeable and then i can use the common master cubes option two i can try and tier this guy up to legendary and option three i can try and get one line of Mezzo obtained and one line of decks on all these Mezzo equips because none of them, except this guy, sort of, has any lines of decks. Uh, so after thinking about this for like the past 10-15 minutes, I decided that I'm just going to try and get two lines here, like one line of decks and one line of Mezzo obtained um, for these equips. So I'll start off with a Black A Mask because this one is tradable, you can peace socket it, whereas with these guys you can't trade it at all. So if I can get one line of Mezzo obtained and one line of Dex here, that'll be great. So I'll start off with just regular Meisters that I have in my inventory anyways. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> I can't roll this. This one's definitely like one I should just sell. Ah, oh, so annoying. Ah, oh, whatever, yeah. <laughs> I can't roll this. Alright, then in that case, I think I'm going to have to move on to the other rings. Oh crap. That one wasn't the one I should have started with, because he already had all stat. Actually, I'll use these event ring mice instead. Oh my god. I'm not an int class. <laughs> Please, next one. Okay, perfect. I got my one line of Mezzo obtained and one line of Dex. I'll do the same for this guy. Uh, 
Ah, damn it. I got one line of drop and one line of dex. Uh, in that case, since this already has 20% item drop and dex, I can actually replace that with one of these rings. So I will like reroll this for 20% um, meso obtained instead, actually. I think that's going to be the right play. So now you go inside here. And next time, I'll roll this for 20% meso obtained and 9% dex. Alright, and time to buy out this event shop. Um, so... Let's see, I'm going to pick up the rest of these eternal flames. Uh, the rest of these powerful flames. Uh, the rest of these clean slates. The rest of these bee pot and coal cubes. Actually, hmm, do I want this? Wait, wait, let's, uh, let's come back to this bit later. I'll get the rest of these karma master cubes. Um, uh, I don't really want the pet scrolls because I don't really have a pet that I can scroll on my, um, on my courses, so there's nothing to scroll. I do want the rest of these hammers. I mean, I can get these symbols if I really want to, but <laughs> I don't feel like I need to. Uh, experience nodes. Uh, it'll be more useful my courser because I want to because I want to strengthen my courser anyways. Oh yeah, I'll get the rest of these mysterious monster blooms. I'll pick up all these character slot expansions. Holy crap! I still have thirteen thousand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, hmm, in that case, I might, should I pick up one of these Karma Star Force? Um, I don't need to, but like, I, I can, right? I have so many Neo Stones that I can. Like, I don't really need this because I have so many bonus Call Cubes already that I don't really feel like I need any more. Okay, I won't buy anything yet. I'll use the bonus Call Cubes on my Corsair's Equips. And if I need more, then I'll get that. If not, then I'll pick up the Karma Star Force scroll and Unique Potential scroll and stuff. I did hear for these, you can just go into portals and then that will automatically reset the character slot expansion. So let's see if that's true. So I'm going to use that now. And then I'm going to go inside the portal. Use another one. Oh, okay. It's fine then. Okay, so I'll just keep doing that. And last one. Oh, this is a neat trick. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's see what we get from the Mysterious Monster Bloom. So I got a Substantial Reward. And I got Spirit Viking. And Red Porky. What the hell is a Red Porky? <laughs> okay, but anyways. Um, yep, nice. Okay, so next on my menu is this. So again, same thing. I'm going to go for 14% into more. Nope, nothing. And what I thought with all those eternal flames and powerful flames I have, I can give this guy over to my Corsair and I can use that, right? Because I can't use the Karma Eternal Flames here because this is tradable right now. So if, for example, if I double click this, it's read it out. But once I give this over to my Corsair, because eventually I'm going to be giving it to my Corsair anyways, I might as well just give it over now and then I can just flame this with all the uh, flames that I have. I do have an eternal flame here, so let's just chuck this in. Okay, nothing. And the rest of my flames are all karma eternal flames and karma powerful flames, so let's just transfer them over. I still have these karma cubes, so before I actually do that, I'll just transfer all these cubes and just uh, go for one last cubing session. Okay, um, one more time. Oh, 11% int. Ah. I'll just keep this for now. I don't feel like I'll get anything better with two cubes left. But yeah, more importantly, I do want to get into the flaming part of it. Alright, goodbye my friend. Oh, it's been so nice having you on my Kana. But you must go to my Corsair. Alright, and pick this guy up. Oh my gosh. This is like... I have 40 Karma Eternal Flames here and 21 Powerful Flames. So hopefully, I want to try and aim for 110 plus Flame Score for this. And if it's Dex, then I'll keep it. If it's something else, then I'll probably sell it and just buy a Dex one for myself. So that's the plan. Anyways, let's get started. So I'll just use this. Okay, finally. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, to be continued. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I want to keep the flaming session for next video, but I'm pretty sure most of you know what happened, but stay tuned. Next episode is going to be very exciting. Again, sorry for my lack of uploads, but I think at the moment I enjoy the Pokemon content creating, so I'll be trying my best to juggle with both. Hopefully some of you can go check it out. Anyways, thank you all for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks!